Hey my loves, welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I am going to be doing a full face using new products. Now, some of these products have been in my collection already, just, you know, that I purchased um, a couple months ago and it's been sitting there waiting for me to try it out. And other items are that I got at the Masterclass. So if you guys want to see how I achieved this look using all new products, just stay tuned and continue watching. Alright love, so as you can see, one of my eyes is already done, simply because I wanted to save some time. And I am going to be using this um, new palette. It's not new in the market, but it's new for me. This is the Basic Views by the Bella Pro. This is how it looks like. It looks so freaking, freaking gorgeous. I love it. And I am going to be doing the exact same thing I did on this eye. So, I already um, prepped my eyelid and all, so I'm going to be going directly with a transition shade, and I'm going to be taking this shade that's right here, this one right here, and I'm going to be taking the Morphe M535, so taking a little bit of this, and I'm going to be applying this all over my crease area, and since I already did this eye, I already know that this palette um, does have a lot of fallout, more than what I'm used to. It's not a big deal, just want to let you guys know. Now that I applied that shade onto the crease, I'm going to be going in with another blending brush like so. And I am going to be taking this color that's right here. This palette doesn't have any names, so I'm sorry if I'm just pointing. But I'm taking a little bit of this and I'm going to be blending it with my first color that I applied. Now I'm going to be taking my Morphe M511. This brush is so bomb, you guys. And I'm going to be taking this shade that's right here into the corner, going in very lightly. And slowly build that shade all over my crease as well. Alright love, so this is how I have it so far. I still need to clean the, the corner now. But I'm going to be going on to the lid and I'm going to be using my Cicero L08 brush. And taking this beautiful shade that's right over here. And I'm going to be placing this beautiful color all over my eyelid. And I am going to um, want to intensify it a little bit more. So I am going to add some setting spray, just a spritz of this onto the brush. Tap off whatever is left and apply this. So I am done with the eyes for now. I'm going to be going straight to my face. So I'm going to be using my No Pore Blem Primer by Touch and Soul, which I got in a boxy charm. And I'm super excited to try this out. I cannot wait to see what it's all about. I've heard so many people who have tried this love it. So let's give it a whirl. Oh my god. This feels so good. This feels like a mixture between um, a moisturizer and a silicone. That's the best way I can describe it. Alright, so I applied the primer, and oh my goodness, you guys, it feels so good. Like, I don't know, I feel like on camera, it blurred out my face, and in person as well. My pores don't look humongous, as they usually do, so that's a plus. Now, I was gonna go straight into foundation, but as you guys know, I attended the Masterclass by Mario, and, um... 
a step that he did um, on Kim. Everyone was so, ooh, ah, you know? And I wanted to give it a try. And, um, and the step that he did was that he applied some moisturizer um, after primer. So usually what I do is I apply moisturizer and then a primer, but I'm going to be doing it the other way around. I'm going to be using um, a moisturizer after my primer, and I'm super excited to try this baby out. This is the Tatcha the Dewy Skin Cream. Now, this is a brand new product from Tatcha, which has not been yet released, which I'm super, super excited that I am able to try it out before anyone else. This is how the inside looks like. And um, I am going to be applying a little bit of this with a dual fiber brush. So that is what I know this thing does come with a little spoon, but I want to save it, okay, because it's that cute. But I'm going to be taking some of this. Oh my god, it feels so good. <gasps> so this product was inspired by Mario. Um... That's what he mentioned that Tatcha got inspired by him um, when creating this product. So, anyways, we're going to be applying some of this. Oh my god, you guys. This baby, wow. Wow is all I have to say. I'm literally speechless because I am in love with how it applied, how it looks, etc, etc. I am so, so glad that I was able to try this out. And once again, this is the Touch of the Dewy Skin Cream. It's still not available yet, but once it is, I will link it down below. Um, but you guys, if you guys are able to afford it, because I know Touch is really, really expensive, um, if you guys are able to afford it, um, or even if they have a smaller size, definitely try it out, and I guarantee you, you are going to love it, especially if you are on the drier side, since because I am, um, on the drier side currently, but, I mean, about oily skin, I really don't know, but for dry skin, definitely check it out. Um, anyways, going on to my foundation. I am going to be using a new foundation that's new to me, not to the market, but this is the Milani Conceal and Perfect 2-in-1 Foundation and Concealer, and I did pick up the shade 06 Sand Beige. That's how it looks like. foundation and honestly it looks so freaking good like so 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 good um let me know if you think it's a little bit too white though um i don't know i'm still on the fence on that if it's like a good match or not um let me know that in the comments i would really really appreciate it um this is how my neck looks the foundation i don't know let me know, let me know, let me know. But either way, I'm going to continue. Um, I also am going to be using the Milani Conceal and Perfect Longwear Concealer. And this is how it looks. And I did pick up the shade 145 Warm Beige. You guys, this concealer... It's full coverage. Wow. This concealer is definitely a must, you guys. Um, I had to go all the way to Walmart. I do not have a Walmart near me, and it is pretty far. Um, and I busted the mission. It was raining that day to get this concealer. And was it all worth it? Hell yes, you guys. Like, it was so worth it. This Wow, this concealer is definitely full coverage. Um, can I compare it to the Tarte Shape Tape? Yes. Um, 
just that this one feels a little bit more lighter in my opinion but other than that wow this concealer is amazing definitely definitely suggest for you guys to check it out for for yourself and all because it's wow it's so bomb diggity so now i'm gonna be setting my under eyes and i'm gonna be using the pretty vulgar palette the pretty vulgar powder that i got my boxy charm all right love so change plans i ended up using the anastasia um powder bronzer in rich amber this one did a better job in my opinion simply because this one um i don't i don't know why but it just didn't show up on my face um i don't know i don't know why it didn't show up it is okay look i'm gonna be swatching it for you guys that's how it looks like you can't really see it on me and i think that's why it just didn't show up as I was expecting it, but I mean, it's all good, you know, it's not, it's not, um, the product's fault, the product literally just feels super, super good, I just feel like I am the wrong skin tone to be applying this shade on, but I am going to be using the blush, so hopefully that one does match, so just taking some of this on my blush brush, taking some of this on my blush brush, and I'm going to be applying this onto my cheeks. Alright love, so I applied on my eyelashes. I applied a little bit of shadow onto my waterline. Added a little bit of inner corner highlight. Now going on to face highlight. I'm going to be using the pretty vulgar um, shimmering swan sparkling sass highlighter. And I got this in a boxy charm. This is how it looks. And I'm not gonna lie, uh, this packaging feels really cheap. Really, really cheap. Um, this one of the Pretty Vulgar Palette palette. Why not say palette? Pretty Vulgar Powder. It feels more sturdy and more um, more high end. While this one feels like plastic, but I mean it's all good. So I'm going to be taking this with my R36, my ride or die brush to highlight. So taking some of this and applying this. Alright love, so I spritzed my face with the CoverGirl Look Lockup. This thing smells so good. It smells like um honeydew, honeydew melon. Mm, that's the closest thing I can think of. Um, I applied it over my face. And then pounce my beauty sponge all over it. The highlight you can't really see anymore is because it melted, which I'm in love. I like that product actually melt into your skin. For my lips, I'm going to be using this Suede Lips by Rodile, I think that's what it's called. And I got this in the, in the bag as well. Ugh. Alright my love, so this is my completed look using all new products. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And I did add a gloss on top of my lip color simply because I have been more into gloss lately and a matte sh just lip does not do it for me anymore. Um, I'm pretty sure it's just something temporary. I'm going to go back to wearing all matte um, later on. But for now, glossy lips is my thing. Um, but anyways, other than that, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and please don't forget to give it a big thumbs up, and subscribe if you aren't already to keep updated with my videos. I would truly, truly appreciate it, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye, you guys!